Hey, good morning. This is Dennis from Malloy Chevrolet in Los Lunas, New Mexico. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a Bolt and a Volt. And we have both. So we're going to start with the Bolt. So the Bolt is an all-electric vehicle. The Bolt here is a complete plug-in. So right here is where you've got your plug-in. And I'll show you the plug. It comes with the plug standard in the back um, that you can use at the house. But you'll notice the difference, one of the biggest differences between the Bolt and the Volt. Besides the body style a little bit, you'll see the Volt here. It also has the plug-in port. Same port, so you can use the same charger. But the Volt also has a gas tank there in the back. So that's one of the biggest differences between the two. Going back to the, the Bolt, so all electric, has an estimated range of 237 miles. Inside you'll notice as we get in, looks just like a regular car. You've got your large infotainment screen here. We're going to push the power button and now we're ready to go. And of course it's telling me that everything's open, but pretty much standard. And driving the Bolt, super easy. This vehicle is in demonstration. All we have to do... Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. Now there we go. Now, you'll notice that it's making a little noise. And those are just some of the actuators for the brake system. Um, but now we're moving. And you'll see we're moving. Just driving around the store here without any gas being used. In fact, there's no gas engine. Just the battery-driven engine. So we are driving around. You notice a couple of things on the screen here. One of the things that you'll see is if we were to brake or we were going downhill, you notice that there is a little regen cycle. So it tries to capture electricity back just by braking. And if you were going downhill, it would also be in regen mode so that you would try and gain a little more range. But 237 miles, the average, the average that people drive in a commute is 40 miles. So if you figure that you're driving 40 miles, maybe a day, if you're driving 40 miles a day, this is a perfect vehicle because you'll never have to buy gas again. And the charger, let's go look at the charger. I'm going to turn it off here. So if we open up the back hatch, right, so there's a charger that it comes with. That's the end that plugs in. And then you've got you've got just a normal plug. So you plug that in. And that's it. So if you're driving 40 miles a day, and this goes 200 miles, that's about a week. Um, you may want to charge it up so that you're always ready. A couple of times a week should cover you. Now with the Volt, if you've got a little longer commute, but you still want to play in that electric field, so with the Volt you've got both. So you've got the you've got the electric, which is has a range of about 40 to 50 miles, and then you've got a gas engine as well, and so it switches back and forth just like a normal plug-in hybrid. And so the range on this is about 430 miles, which means from Albuquerque, you could drive to Denver, drive to Phoenix on just a single tank. And the same thing, it shows you um, the same EV screen. Right now it's charged up, so it's got a range of 48 miles is what it's showing. Um, and the same thing. Push my power button. So it turns on initially in the battery mode. 
and we'll stay in battery mode until um, there's acceleration needed or until the battery is run down to a certain level. But great looking car, 430 mile range between the gas and the electric. So again, if you've got a longer commute, this is probably the one. But either one is a great choice for economy and just, you know, being good to the environment. So there's a little bit of the difference between a Bolt and a Volt. Volt has a little engine, uses some gas. Bolt does not. One of the questions that a lot of people ask on the Bolt is, well, then what's under the hood? Well, under the hood in the Bolt, you've still got all the battery components, um, all the braking components, washer fluid. So there's still some, some things under the hood. So um, just no gas engine. So that's the difference between a Bolt and a Volt. There are the two right there. Come see us, Malloy Chevrolet, MalloyChevrolet.com.